what's up everyone welcome back to the channel today I am going to show you what you can do in case you lose brakes um, uh, while you're driving on the road so let's say you were driving and you hit the brakes and there's nothing the pedal goes down to the floor and there is no stopping power whatsoever I am a senior student engineering automotive engineering student and I can't tell you how much they stress safety while driving and one of the most important things we we learn is a defensive driving skills course and uh, it really helps much it can actually save lives if your family is with you um, in your vehicle or yourself you want to save yourself in case you lose brakes and it actually happened to my brother once he was pushing on the brake pedal and it was just sinking down to the floor one of the brake lines the front right one the passenger uh, wheel um, it just the brake hose just it was just broke it was rubbing on the wheel and um, started leaking and then it lost pressure so okay so the most important three things you have to do if you lose brake pressure is first uh, downshift to lower gears second pump the brakes three or four times really fast so you can build enough pressure to hopefully get get some stopping power and third use the emergency brake in some vehicles like this newer toyota the e-brake the emergency brake does not work um, above certain speed i'm not sure if it's 10 or 15 or 20 miles per hour it differs between manufacturers in this car it works at any speed and uh, in this car it doesn't work at all as long as it's moving even five miles per hour so um i'm just gonna try and demonstrate the best i can and we'll see how it goes and hopefully this will be helpful Okay, so right now I am in the 2015 Toyota Sienna. I'm gonna get on the road, go to an empty, safe uh, road, and then we're gonna demonstrate what you can do. Okay, so right here you can see the gear selector. So I can, so right here you can see the gear selector, so I can use it to downshift to higher gears when I need it. so here's a really empty road ahead of me I'm gonna get the van up to right around 40 miles per hour and right now let's say I don't have any brakes so I'm gonna grab the selector and throw it lower gears see how the rpms goes up and the speed starts to go down now I'm gonna hit the e-brake and see what happens see there we go that's what you can do okay perfect okay so now that I'm parked um, what I did guys so let's say if I really didn't have any brakes at all I just grab the shifter put in triptronics and then go down to a lower gear shift down to a lower gear and one thing that that I could have done too is pump the brake pedal three or four times hopefully to build up some pressure enough to stop the car and then I hit the e-brakes and maybe I could have saved my life and everyone with me in the vehicle like that all right guys so that was it um, one thing I figured when I was uh, trying to stop the car without using the brakes that the e-brake the emergency brake worked uh, partially engaged when I uh, stepped on it while the van was moving which is very very smart from Toyota so it doesn't completely lock up the rear wheels if it fully engages it will lock up the the rear wheels and the the vehicle will start skidding and sliding going sideways so it is really smart that it does not fully engage when you use it when the vehicle is moving so it's a lot safer so thumbs up uh, it was a successful experiment I hope this is helpful to anybody who's watching this video and if you like it please give it a big thumbs up please subscribe and I will see you in the next one